Hi, Vishal. Hey, David. Good to have you here. Yeah, good to be here. Uh, I'm representing IAB Hong Kong, and uh, we're thrilled to have you be a member of our Leadership Lounge today. What has been the general reception to generative AI over the past two years? So it's been very positive. I mean, obviously, you know, fueled by the popularity of ChatGPT back in 2022. But over as we mature through and go through 2023 and now into 2024, now it's uh, becoming a bit more focused and targeted where organizations are really thinking hard on where it makes sense to deploy generative AI and where they can still use the traditional AI do you think that the worry of a lot of marketers saying that their jobs will be taken over, especially as content creators by AI, do you think that's a valid worry? The marketers don't need to worry about their jobs. Their jobs directly will not be taken with AI, but they could be taken with somebody who uses AI. And that's a cliche which a lot of people have been saying, but I, I think that has to be taken with some degree of seriousness because the AI and generative AI provides you with such great power and tools at your fingertip, which can fast track the way you approach not only content generation, but various other functions within marketing. And I truly believe in that, like marketing is all about feeling the pulse of your audience, targeting the right customer with the right messaging and that connection still comes from human ingenuity, which I don't think will be replaced by AI. Do you see that as a, a potential challenge in that a lot of consumers don't want their data to be used as training data for models? Is that even something we should worry about? First is, you know, a lot of times consumer data is anyway being used and uh, you know sort of shared on many different forums so i think it's kind of a misnomer that you know the ai will take your consumer data in a way which is different to what your data is already out there in terms of social media presence and then the second part is closely related to the cyber and security where you constantly hear of these stories of data breaches and accounts being hacked. Those are some things where we absolutely need to be careful in terms of uh, just basic hygiene, the kind of passwords we use, the kind of information we share out there. So just having that consumer awareness and education is something which can save us from a lot of these ill effects of your PII being out there. Let's move on to talk about something that's closer to home. So. Uh... Microsoft Copilot and a lot of people in the marketing and communication fields were very familiar with the Office 365 apps, which are now uh, optimized and enhanced for AI. What are some of the ways in which you think marketeers can use Copilot to enhance what they do on a daily basis? One of the things which separates uh, Copilot from uh, other solutions is it's already well ingrained into the day-to-day -day working habits of workforce. By using Copilot, they are able to do that uh, and save significant amount of man hours, as well as give opportunity to people within the organization to collaborate on marketing campaigns. What are some of the ways in which influencers themselves should embrace AI? And in India, we've seen significant change with the growth of UPI and the payment interface. I mean, it's fundamentally changed the, the commerce in the country and how people interact. They are actually using generative AI to get like a sentiment analysis of how their users are interacting with their videos, what kind of comments they are sharing, what kind of likes what kind of comments on their posts on LinkedIn. So as they are creating their new podcast, they are already seeing the tempo of the audience and where audience is, is heading towards, what are the things they are most interested in, what are the most frequently used words. And similarly, I think, uh, you know, other parts of the world, I would think uh, to, be, to be no different. Thank you so much for that. 
Any last words of advice for marketers? Is be open to change. A lot of generative AI is, is really continuous learning and having that growth mindset. Just keep get yourself out there and uh, go on this learning journey. That's very wise advice. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time today. Thank you, David. It's very Thanks good to have you here. Thank you.